What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again. And this is when I like to tell you a story from my life that might help you with what you're going through in your life. All right, I was in the eighth grade and our science class decided to have, to enter a solar car race. Basically, we had a couple classes for science. It was like, um, you know, when you get in the eighth grade and you first start or I guess middle school when you first start switching classes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that was kind of what it was. So our science teacher decided to split everybody into teams. And basically what we did was build, each team was to build a solar car. And it was like three teams. So he decided to make team captains. And oddly enough, I ended up being a team captain. Now, they may, when I say oddly enough, I'm saying that because did I come to class every single day? Most days I did. Did I stay awake every day? No, nah, not at all. Uh, didn't stay awake every day. Didn't turn in all my homework or a lot of it. I did the bare minimum that I could to get like a high C, low B-ish type thing, you know, just so that I wouldn't get in trouble at the crib, you know, that was pretty much it. I just tried to stay right there in that area where I could be cool. So I was surprised that I was one of the team captains. Now what also surprised me is that there was this other girl who's a straight A student. She got A's in everything. She was in all the little societies, all the little clubs, you name it, she was in it. And she was not one of the three captains. It was crazy to me because I was like, what's up with that? And I guess it was crazy to her, too, because she got pissed. She went through the roof. She was like, if I'm not one of the captains, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. How are you going to let them be captains? Because I'm not going to lie to you. It was I was a captain. It was some other girl who didn't deserve to be a captain either because she was going to sleep just as much as I was. Uh, and, you know, it was another person that the, the other person was kind of on the fence. Like, you could say they deserved it. But I know me and this other girl, we didn't deserve that stuff. Okay, so it was crazy, right? And the girl got mad. Natalie, she was pissed. She was like, ah, I'm so mad. I'm so angry. And she was going off. She was like going in on the teacher a little bit. It was like, wow. And I was like, don't worry. You know, you could be on my team and it'll be straight because I don't even care. You can really be in charge and run the whole thing. I ain't tripping. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't. I was like, I'll probably go to sleep at some point anyway. I may not even show up for all of this stuff. Yes, this is in the eighth grade. I was like, I may not even show up for all of this stuff. So at the end of the day, you might as well go ahead and do your thing. So she was like, no, no, because if, I, if I'm on your team, then everybody's going to think you're the one doing the work and that you did it. And I want to be the person in charge because I deserve it. I come to do everything I'm supposed to do. I get all these and you don't. I was like, okay, because she was tripping. She was acting like, like, I was going to be the captain of the team and be like, I'm the captain now. You know, like I was going to have an attitude or something like that. Or any of us would when the reality was, don't nobody care about being the solar car captain. Stop it. You're the only one who cares. Anyway, so she told the teacher that she was not going to be on any of the teams. The teacher told her, he was like, look, if you're not on a team, you can't participate in any of the solar car ev events and you have to take a zero for the class. He told us that this was like 20% of your grade. So that means that you are now in a position where you can't even make an A, you know, no matter what grade you've gotten before. So I was like, I was like, oh, okay, she's probably gonna go ahead and do it. She was like, nah, I don't, she's like, I don't care, I'm not doing it. She went and got her mom. She went through this whole process, I, it didn't work. So anyway, I set my little solar car thing up basically with my team. And I was like, look, I'm not really tripping off of this. So we're going to just spread it. We're going to just put it in the groups. Uh, we're going to have a design team. We're going to have people that's going to do like the wheels and the base. And we're going to have people that's going to be in charge of the motor. And basically, that's how we're going to do it uh, in the chassis. Basically, that's how we did it. I was like, we're going to split up and that's what we're going to do. So whoever want to be in charge of anything, they could be in charge of it. I ain't tripping. You know, I didn't pick the design. I didn't decide how we're going to do the wheels. 
I really didn't decide anything. And when the race time came, because this is what we did, we all put the cars together, and then we had like this regional race event. So people from all over in different schools and stuff was coming to race these little solar cars. So I was like, look, they got these races set up. Whoever wants to go out here and race, you can. Okay, everybody just put their name on the list. If you want to go out here and you want to put the car on the line, if that make you feel good, cool. Go ahead and do it. We didn't even have enough people volunteer to do it. So I ended up being one of the people to do it, which I really didn't care one way or the other, like I said. So it was like, it was no arguments whatsoever about the solar car. It was totally cool, no problems. So anyway, we did the solar car events. Everybody was racing. I looked in the stands a couple times and I saw that Natalie was there. And she was sitting there like this, just sad faced in the mug because she had to show up. It was a school day. It was like a little field trip. So she had to show up, but she couldn't participate. So she was like, you're sad faced in the mug. So anyway, she took a zero, didn't participate. We had a whole bunch of fun. We actually won a lot of races on our team. Uh, we didn't get first place, but you know, we got first in a couple of races and third in a couple of races, second in a couple of places. It ended up adding up to us getting like third place, which I'm never cool with getting something like that, but it's solar cars. Who cares? So anyway, end of the day, she takes a zero. Her grade goes down, you know. It went down so far that I got to be, because everybody who did the solar cars got 100. It was pretty much the easiest A I've ever gotten in my entire life. So everybody got the solar cars, got 100. I ended up getting a B, and she ended up getting a B. I was happy with my B. She was miserable. I remember when Port Carter was like, oh my God, this is the only B I've ever had in my life. And she was all, you know, crying and stuff like that. I was like, but you chose this life. Anyway, I was like, welcome to the team, you know, be like me. But she wasn't cool with it. Anyway, the thing is, I think Natalie's problem was she just couldn't settle. You know, in our lives, people always say, you need to get what you deserve, never settle for less. And that was her issue. She couldn't settle. She felt like I deserve to be the captain. I deserve to be in charge because of all the things that I've done in the past. And you know what? She was right. I think she did deserve it. I think she was making a good case for herself. But life don't always give you exactly what you want. It don't always give you what you deserve. You think it's other people in the world who haven't been working for stuff that they're not getting? You think it's other people in the world who haven't been doing everything that they could do and it hasn't been working out? If Natalie just would have gone ahead and been on the team, Heck, she could have been in charge anyway. And she could have later on maybe did her own solar car and showed us all up. But instead, she went on ahead and took a zero, didn't get to be a part of the festivities. And what did that do to the teacher? Nothing. He's still teaching. Yeah, probably not now, but he's still he was still teaching. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing, living his life. Everybody else got to have fun. But you're sitting out because you don't want to settle. You don't want to be over here just enjoying the festivities just because you didn't get what you want. And I know some people might think that that was really stupid. And some people might think that they're not like that. But how many times did you find yourself not getting exactly what you want and totally dropping out of the race? Not being a part of anything. Not putting yourself in a position where you can get more. Not putting yourself in a position where you can say, here's where I am. Here's what I have in front of me. I'm going to take what I have in front of me and use it to get more and use it to do better. That was her issue. She felt that accepting uh, being less than the captain, being less than being in charge, was giving up and just accepting failure. When the reality is she chose failure by just taking a zero and not being a part of any of it. She was very smart, but nobody on that racetrack could tell you that she was very smart because she was sitting in the stands looking sad, face pouting. If you want to be different than that, if you want to succeed in life, sometimes you just got to take what's in front of you. And that doesn't mean that you got to sit here and accept that and give up on life and say, I don't have anything in front of me. It means take it and build on it. You might not be in the exact relationship you want to be, or things may not be going exactly the way you want them to go. But that doesn't mean you can't build on what you have, especially if you're with somebody you like to be with. Y'all are happy, everything's going cool, but maybe y'all don't have a lot of money. Maybe y'all aren't married yet. Maybe y'all don't have children yet. A lot of people want to scrap the whole relationship. I could do bad by myself. And that's what they do. Do bad by themselves. Or 
you could be different from that and say, you know what, here's where I am. How can I build on this and use this to do better and use this to have more? You might not have the best job right now. It may not be exactly what you want, but it could be in a company that you really like working for and you have dreams in your head of what you're going to do. Work as hard as you can where you are. Do what you can where you are. That doesn't mean you can't look around for more and better, but don't just drop out of the race completely to where you're not even in the competition. Keep competing. Keep doing what you got to do. Keep being a part of things. Keep staying in the game because if you don't, then you're going to be sitting there sad face on the sideline taking a zero in life like a lot of people choose to do. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Hopefully, I was able to help you out. Oh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else. Peace.